points I'm trying to make is that uh, being a doctor, I'm pretending to talk about health issues, which is a very confusing area. The Swedish study, the study from Belgium, they have shown definitely some in increase in tumors, but in the brain, it's the only thing they've studied is brain tumors. They haven't studied immune systems or anything else except the brain tumors, but they were, there wasn't enough hard evidence. The World Health Organization reviewed all of this and they came out with the precautionary principle which they recommend for every government. And that means if there's any doubt, you err on the side of precaution. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, I think I made that point in there. The, uh, anyways, the other, the, I mentioned the two, there's, a, there's one website, I can't remember the name of it, but it, I gave out handouts for it last time. But the one that's really worthwhile for anybody is the 2009 U.S. Senate hearings. And they're all were put on YouTube, and they've got tons of different professional people speaking about cell towers in the United States. And anybody should have a look at those. They're just brilliantly done. And uh, the uh, American Academy of Pediatrics, was, which hasn't been brought up in the previous meetings, has 60,000 strong. It's totally against this, this, because they don't know enough. It's just like we didn't know anything, anything about asbestos and smoking for 20 or 30 years. We're still selling asbestos to third world countries. So, I mean, governments are suspect sometimes. They don't look at, you know, the, the main, the prime, what is it, the Star Trek, the prime um, thing for government is to protect their citizens, to me. And I don't think they do that very well. Okay. Can you tell me who you are or what do you do? Dr. David Chubb. I am a retired ophthalmologist. I still work part-time, but I used to operate at Lionsgate Hospital.